David, how important is the business plan to bankers in making a lending decision? That's a very, very um, um, easy question to answer. It is the fundamental basis on which business is, 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 is assessed. When you look at a business plan, you look at two aspects really, the financial information that you have and the non-financial information. The financial information really is a startup balance sheet. In other words, what is that person starting this business off? What is the capital structure? How is it actually being laid out? The next thing is really cash flow. I cannot emphasize the importance of a detailed cash flow. Cash is king. It's a classic banker's phrase. And the reason why it is king is because actually you have to look at timings. If you've got a, a facility with the bank and it's being extended and extended and extended, if you look at the reasons why businesses go under, it is because they haven't anticipated how long it's for their money to come through. And that can build up, it can become expensive, it becomes a very unmanageable situation. And in that particular case, the, de the devil's in the detail. You have to actually make sure you work that through. The second thing about is, is the non-financials. Non-financials are exceptionally important. Has the individual researched the product properly? Have they researched the marketplace? Do they know who they're going to sell it to? Have they built up their database? Who are the people that they've been networking with that actually have said, yes, I will definitely buy this product? Is there some contractual arrangements that need to be looked at to make sure that this business venture is actually going to be looked at properly? So the whole proposition of both financial and non-financial has to be very, very carefully considered. And, and when you have that contained with a business plan, and when you read a good pl business plan which has been well crafted, well looked at, you know that you want to do the proposition. It convinces me that I want to do the proposition. And half of the time, that's what it's about because I'm the agent of the bank who are going to put that proposition up to the people behind the, uh, the scenes to convince them that this is the right thing that we should be doing. So it's a sales document to the bank. It's making sure that all the detail is there and it's driving home the point that actually that guy knows what he's doing and has your confidence. But David, what are bankers really looking for in that business plan? The bank is looking for confidence in the individual in the team that the individual is building to develop his business. It's about trust. Bankers like to trust the individual they're dealing with and feel that there's an openness and um, a collegiate approach to uh, the business proposition. Very often when you get a business plan, it can be a sterile um, piece of paper which contains no emotion. What you want to do is to feel that the person you're dealing with actually believes in that, that it's actually in the business plan, and it drives you to believe that this is exactly what is required. The information is there. Very often you get a good business plan. There isn't a need to ask many questions because actually it's coming through through the individual and the business plan. So what do I look for? I look for that comfort in knowing that this guy has really done an excellent job knowing what he's going to in, in, uh, invest in or what I'm going to invest in and I know and I feel confident it's going to happen. And are there any tips that you'd give owner managers in drawing up the business plan? Yes I would. Um, I read a, an article and I'll just refer to my notes if I may about warning signs. Um, seeing excesses of, of, of um, uh, you know, o over the overdraft on the account, hardcore money beginning to build up, lack of financial information coming through, not being available to the bank if they have a, a problem, um, inability to meet forecasts. All of these are warning signs. And as I have faith and trust in lending to this individual against the business planning and lending it them against that. They must have respect for me and they must therefore tell me what it is that is happening, that is going wrong and how can we help.
If we learn about that um, uh, problem early on, yes, you can take steps, but if in fact you're met with a fait accompli, this is what we must do, that is the time when people fall out because had you not foreseen it? Did you not have control of your business? What were you actually doing when all this was happening? It's all about having trust and respect for each other, and that's what's key to a banking relationship.